So just like with our work um, uh, on monotonic intervals, we're going to take a look at concavity here in number 30. And this time we do not have a graph. So we're going to use the second derivative to help us find these intervals where the function is concave up and concave down. Uh, this uh, function g of x that I'm working on, I can take the derivative pretty easily with the power rule, and I get negative 2x plus 3. And then let's go ahead and go to the second derivative, because the second derivative is the derivative that tells us about concavity. And notice I get a negative 2. Now that's actually pretty cool. I don't even need to make a sign diagram, because if the second derivative is negative... If the second derivative is negative at every point in its domain, then that thing is always concave downward. So in this case, uh, we have a polynomial. It's just a quadratic. Uh, its domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And so this is concave down on that entire domain. And I would indicate that interval as negative infinity to positive infinity. Now again, I recommend that you use a graphing tool to verify what you found. And sure enough, you'll see that this graph is an upside down parabola and it's got the old frown. It's concave down everywhere. And so the graph does verify uh, the work that we did on the previous slide. Uh, good luck with your first and second derivatives and keep me posted on your progress.